Lights are out. We'll turn them loose next time by as yes, Brian Cross. Beautiful looking ride out front in that 2020 Belleville Motorsports chassis. He will set the pace. The lights are out. We'll work through corners three and four. Dave Tabor flanks outside. Row number one of the green flag comes here modified. Caution flag is out. Got debris over in corners one and two. Cross Tabor will try it again. We'll bunch him up into corners three and four. And out of corner number four, the green flag. Dave Tabor on the outside wants that race lead. Here comes Max Quint on the inside. Quint battling for that second spot. Your pull sitter, Brian Cross. Back into the third spot now is Max Quint. Into the second spot, Dave Tabor. Cars beating and banging through the field. Here comes Bubba Alvarado. Alvarado started 12th on the field. He's already up into that fourth spot. Alvarado working that outside groove, trying to go around Tom Quint. He'll do so. Here comes the WW2 up to the back bumper of Max Quint. Dave Tabor continues to lead. Eyes up high as the WW2 of Alvarado. Working towards the front of the field. Here comes a fly J, Jeremy Frenier. Those two drivers hit the top side of the racetrack. Battle for the lead. Max Quint now to the point. Max Quint shows the way. Yeah. Working out of corner number four at the line. It'll be official. Caution flag is out. Caution flag is out. Joe Mullins got turned around in the bottom of corners three and four. We'll restart lap number five here tonight. 25 laps the scheduled distance. We'll work out at corner number four. Back underway for your modifies. Alvarado pushed up the racetrack, left the door open for Jeremy Frenier. Battle for that third spot. Door to door, wheel to wheel for spot number three. Alvarado drives it in deep on the high side of the racetrack. Gets back by at the line. Jeremy Frenier scored third. Frenier working that lower groove of the racetrack just before the caution flag was out. They had both hit the high side of the racetrack. Max Quint continues the lead out front in the Mopar Power 72 ride. Tabor slides up, Bubba Alvarado now to the second spot. Bring it with him the Fly J, Jeremy Frenier. Frenier now into the third spot. As Tabor now falling back through the field. Next in line, Ryan Gaylord goes to work on that 77 ride. Ryan Gaylord into the fourth spot. Clean racetrack in front of your race leader, Max Quint. Alvarado second, Frenier still third. Field kind of lengthens out. Starting to catch our race leader is Bubba Alvarado. Uh, just about nose to tail as they entered corners one and two. Down the back straightaway goes your top three drivers. Alvarado catching Quint, Frenier catching them both as they work out at corner number four. Top drivers put Troy Edwards one lap down. The top two cars clear. Jeremy Frenier now to the inside of Troy Edwards, as is Ryan Gaylord. Top four drivers able to clear Edwards. Ryan Gaylord now catching Jeremy Frenier. Starting to reel him in for that third spot. Max Quint continues the lead, making the jump up to the IMCA A modified. Won a heat race down at Phillips County Raceway last weekend. 
Looking to see if he can win his first IMCA modified feature. Here comes Alvarado, the inside, can have a look for the race lead. Alvarado drives it up to the left rear quarter panel, side by side, as they work out at corner number four. Max Quinn able to fight him off. That allowed Jeremy Frenier to close the gap on the top two drivers. Frenier has caught Alvarado, bringing with him Ryan Gaylord, gonna have a four car battle here shortly for the top spot. Quinn continues to lead Alvarado second, now battling on the inside is Jeremy Frenier, the 17J. Tucks it behind Alvarado. Goes back to work out at corner number four. Coming up on the 13 car, Frank Gassinoff. Is in front of our race leaders. Quint unable to get by. Quint now. He's kind of stuck behind that 13 car. Let's hope he doesn't get used as a pick. Here comes Alvarado. Fernier now to the inside, side by side for spot number two. Fernier now to the inside. Alvarado the outside. Battle for the race lead. Frank Gassina at the line. Quint still your race leader. Three car battle for the lead. Max Quint still with the race lead. Here comes Frenier. Max Quint able to hold on out of corner number two. What a race out front. Quint Frenier yeah, and Alvarado as a caution flag is out. Oh my goodness. Looking to fire us off. We'll restart lap number 19. Max Quint back to the line. Jeremy Frenier to the inside, side by side for that second spot. Alvarado with the momentum on the outside. Here comes Alvarado. Way up high is the WW2, the Weekend Warrior Racing. At the line, barely got by Frenier, his nose to nose. And now Frenier clears for spot number two, gets by Alvarado out of corner number two. Both have their sights set on the 72 of Max Quit. Five laps to go this time by. Max Quint pushes just a bit out of corner number two, able to gather it back up. Keeps Frenier at bay into that second spot. Quint trying to lead Green to checkers here tonight. As the laps are winding down for your IMCA modified feature. Quint, Frenier, Alvarado, Gaylord, and now Jim Sykes Jr. now into the top five. Making a drive in the late stage of this race is the 83 car. Battle for third, Ryan Gaylord had a look underneath that WW2 of Bubba Alvarado. Max Quint, catching the tail end. Troy Edwards will push up the racetrack, no harm, no foul, the top two cars will get by. Two car breakaway at the point. White flag is out one more time around for Max Quint. Trying to win his first IMCA modified feature in the first IMCA modified race here at I-76 Speedway. The rookie in the division, the Mopar powered IMCA modified race chassis out of corner number four. Max Quint grabs a checkered flag here tonight. Jeremy Frenier second and Bubba Alvarado rounds out your top three. Terrific job for Max Quint.